All right, so we're up. All right, uh, welcome everybody to the interview and uh, welcome Ajay uh, to the interview. Uh, uh, I wanna introduce uh, Yuki Takada. Uh, we have the pleasure to have Yuki with us today. Um, Yuki is from Japan he just graduated from Drew uh, a couple months ago, actually two months ago, right? Uh, in May. Uh, and uh, um, so we're, we're just really happy to have you here today. And uh, so before we start, uh, why don't you tell us about um, your experience at Drew, just roughly, you know, your major, your minor, uh, you know, uh, how, you, how you came to Drew and why you came to Drew, that kind of stuff. Okay, so hi guys, I'm Yuki, I'm from Japan and I came to Drew like 2017 for the just academic English was just study for only English, like not for like any other like, studying for like a business. And I studied six months for just English. And then after that, I moved on to the pathway program. And then right now I decided to study business. And yeah, and end of uh, like, no, 2020 of May, I just graduated Drew. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yes. Uh, and then so uh, now that, you know, your English is really good, uh, I can make, you know, jokes about uh, when you first started at Drew. Right? Um, when you first started at Drew, uh, and we actually talked about this like before, right? Uh, you, you were very stiff, right? You're very stiff. And then, you know, you, you were trying really hard, uh, but uh, definitely like you're in a you know, rank of uh, academic English. So tell us a little more about like your English learning journey, right? Okay. Uh, you started off, especially with, um, you, you, you were not as confident as now, right? Now you're very confident. Uh, when you started off, you were not very confident. So just tell us about how you changed and then how you, you know, uh, practice and how you improve okay. the English okay. from, you know, low to really high right now. So basically, in Japan, and we 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 study English, but we don't we cannot speak English at all. So basically, when I went to Drew, I couldn't speak English at all. Just I can only say like, "Hi, I'm Yuki." So I was very shy, and there was no other Japanese student in the class. So basically, I was so quiet, and but like I have to communicate with people, right? Like also, professor was my friend, so. I pushed myself to communicate with others and I think like after three months I could like listen like what they said and and after two months later like I could communicate a little bit with others and even though I don't understand what other people's talking I just pretend I'm, I'm I understood the com the conversation and basically, yeah, yeah, I forced myself to hang out with like English speakers. Yeah. Right, right. Well, I, I do the pretending too still uh, when I'm at work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just kidding. But yeah, no, exactly. Like you, you fake it till you make it, right? Yeah. Just put yourself out there and then, uh, you know, constantly practice. And I actually think that's probably also why, you know, uh, you, your, your academic uh, records are very good, right? And also how you end up uh, landing a really good job, right? So we're just going to start to move right away to uh, the job um, um, hunting uh, experience that you were having, because that's one of the selling points uh, for this interview. I was marketing out, you know, I was saying... Yuki's legendary uh, walkthrough of a sugar pair, you know, with no intention to find anything, uh, yeah. just, right, just for experience, and yet to walking out with an offer uh, mm -hmm. uh, from a really good company, right? So uh, tell us about, now, repicture yourself in that moment, right? You, you, you're going to the career fair, just walk us through uh, that whole experience. Okay, okay, so let's see, end of like a sophomore, I uh, I don't know I was I tried to get like any internship to find what I'm interested in for the future and I start start writing write my resume and stuff and there was an event 
like a job fair for like Japanese and English speaker in the Boston. And then I decided to go there and to find any internship. So I apply like some company in like a different like industry, like a bank, like whatever technology companies. And then as I walked into the booth for the Bloomberg, I met one of the guy and then the guy like, like asked me, yo, oh, are you studying? What are you studying? I'm studying business and statistics and okay. And so I supposed to have a group interview the next day at the Bloomberg, but like the, the before the day, I just checked in like what kind of interview it's gonna be the next day. So the guy, okay. And then the guy told me, oh, I think you you should do like a sales and analytics, not for like global data. So I applied, I applied the global data, but the guy said this, so like he like managed the meeting with, like basically interview with me and the manager for the sales and analytics department. And then things go, first and at the end of the day i was invited dinner with this candidate and the managers and then i still remember like i think it's it's done like uh 11 p.m it was so right and i was so tired and i went back hotel then i emailed to all the manager like thank you for inviting dinner and so on and after 10 minutes, I just get an offer from Bloomberg, like, oh, you I basically, I get an offer letter from them and then I was so surprised and then they are so kind. So I was still in, I left like two semesters. So like, I was not sure I can graduate May or December. So I already told them about it. And then they offered me either doing internship in summer or uh actual actual job from september of mm -hmm. course i you know i had a chance to get a the job right so like i come back to drew and i talk to all the staff like and then i have to graduate by may because i get an offer from like september so like all my staff and the professor helped me to graduate may and it came true and yeah that's a basic yeah, the story right yeah yeah every time i hear it it's always you know amazing i i see ajay is really excited when right um so uh to just to, to to make the background more clear for uh you know other students who are listening uh so the the career fair that you went to uh in, in boston is uh, basically focusing on uh connecting uh japanese companies right uh with uh, yeah, japanese company and like u.s company like i think about 200 companies mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. with japanese speaking people right it doesn't matter if you're from uh, yeah. you know, anywhere right you, yeah. as long as we can, we can participate in that one mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right and then so that was when you were uh you you, you said after uh sophomore right so you were in in, in between sophomore and early junior like yeah, early junior first semester of junior yeah. right first semester of junior so basically you're only half done right like yeah. you know in terms of in, in terms of like the college experience and then you you went there for inter uh, you know uh internship right because you really want internships and then you met this guy at the booth of Bloomberg, and then he, so 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 you talked about two uh, teams that they have, right? One is global uh, statistics. Yeah, global data and like the sales oh. and analytics. Yeah, right, sales and uh, analytics. And then so the guy is uh, who 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 chatted with you uh, belongs to the um, sales uh, team, right? Sales and uh, analytics team. He 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 used to work at the sales, but like now that 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 time he was in a global data. Oh, I see, I see, I see, okay. I see. He know both of them, like both departments. Yeah. Okay, and then so uh, when you when when he talked with you, you were looking at the global one, right? Yeah, global data. Right, but then he was like, ah, you know, since he has the experience with both, and he's like, ah, I think you'll be better off with uh, 
you know, a sales analytics, and then boom, 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 the, the connection happens, right? Um, we'll go into how the dinner uh, worked because that's also something that's really fascinating to me. And there's a lot of culture in it too, right? So you've got the Japanese culture and the U.S. culture in, in that as well. But uh, before we jump into that, um, you know, I think uh, it, it's very telling how when you talk with somebody um, and, and then they think, oh, you fit uh, for one position, right? And then so basically, I think, uh, you know, instead of really looking too much on the details of your resume, your people skills really uh, helped you, you know, talk yeah. with that person. And then, you know, uh, because he, he, he likes talking with you, he enjoys talking, right? Like, of course, like a resume is really important, but actually they didn't read that much. It's just like, okay. Right. So, so really the conversation, right? The conversation got you in. And so to, can, can you tell us more about the conversation and like, if you still remember, like how, how did it start? Uh, what were you feeling? Did you already talk with, you know, some, some other companies before going to them? So you had a warm up. How, how did oh, you okay. were you confident? And yeah. So like before I walked into the Bloomberg, like a boost. I had an interview from like a city bank mm -hmm. and I already had like a few steps for the interview, like a video interview, phone call. And I, it was like a final like interview. And I talked to them and so basically I went to like US like university, right? So I wanted to work like, well, worldwide, like not only in Japan, not only in the US. So when I talked to the guy in the city bank at the Tokyo office, like basically, I cannot go to any other country. Just I need to sit in Tokyo and work, and mm. that's it. It's like I don't know. I just kind of it was not what I'm looking for. So I think after the interview is done, I already knew it. Even though I passed, I, I'm not gonna go into the like the company. So I was walking around, and then I met the guy in the from Bloomberg, and. I don't know, as a person, like when we talk, when we talk, I feel a very comfortable with like anyone in the booth, not only for that guy. And then I, at the same time, I think they also felt they're comfortable with me. Mm. So I was very natural and, you know, I didn't, I don't know, fake myself, anything, just whatever I did feel my experience I just share with them and then they are very welcome to me so right 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 so that's really good um and then so when when, when you talked with them uh were you uh what was the conversation in Japanese or was it in English so like for the the interview it was both like Japanese and like English but mm -hmm. basically I was talking to manager from like uh, he was Japanese they are both both Japanese so like I was talking to Japan and Japanese uh, I see, I see. So now, uh, how did you know when you, uh, like, when to talk in Japanese and when, when, when to talk in English? That, that's actually something that I found really interesting. I don't so know. Like, yeah, so basically, I, I don't know, it's just, I talked to the guy in English first, because I was, I was not sure he was Japanese or, like, you know, from other country, because Bloomberg is a very, like, diverse, right? So, like, even though he looks like Japanese, but he, it's not. So, like, I said, talk to him in English and then but like he asked me oh can you speak Japanese and then I said yes and then we started ah got it got it got it got it so and then after that it's all just natural right yeah very cool very cool yes um and then so now let's walk into the dinner uh phase all right so you're kind of uh you know I had a really good conversation with them and then you got invited to the dinner yeah. and, and of course at that time you're pretty nervous right yeah, and then also like even so, you know the the guy I met first, like he he was so kind, and like so he told me like even in dinner they they're watching me, like like don't get too relaxed and like but don't get too what nervous. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's so hard, right? Right, so, right, 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 right. Yeah. So it's so, almost yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Like there's like a one table, 
I sit at one table and then two manager and one like a team leader and four other candidate. So like four candidate was girl and then like, I was only boy in the group. The two manager was like guy, but like still like, you know, all the girls and then I was kind of nervous because I don't know they had to like interact with them, right? Because the girls have like a like the same topic to talk, but like, you know, I was only right, one right. boy, so, but still, like, I mean, but like, I like talking with people, so like, you know, I try right. my best, try my best to get good impression to them. So, what what were some of the topics that you uh you guys talk about at dinner? Like about interview like oh you are so nervous and then, like we laugh and stuff and then also i don't know what which university i from because like other like the candidate they from a kind of famous university in japan like other famous school in the u.s and stuff right and then they ask me and then oh i'm from drew and what is the drew and oh like new jersey and oh like, i told them oh don't worry it's like a forest so like <laughs> you guys don't know the school and then, okay okay and like, you know, just make the, the people laugh and uh -huh, uh -huh. They can... humorous and be natural, right? Um, I, I think, uh, so uh, Ajay, any questions from you? Yeah, uh, well, uh, first of all, like, thank you, like, uh, congratulations for graduating at the same time getting married. Yeah. Uh, I've been wondering, wanting to ask, like, uh, so like you, you said, like, you went to the sales manager and like, you talked naturally, like, a lot of us, like when we are in the job fair and like uh, all those kind of stuff, like where we have to talk to the people who are, who's at a higher rank or who's like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, like we, we, we automatically feel nervous, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you were natural. Like, how do you like, uh, how, how did you get to that level? Like, do you think like you had a lot of information that made you like more uh, comfortable? Like, what was it like that made you feel more comfortable around the guy? Okay, it's so, like a first, uh, actually like a, like last year, I also went to that event to just to check like how the like how big is like an event like how many people in the events like so I, like it was like second time to go so I didn't feel like kind of nervous from like uh, you know event itself and the second I had an interview is just before so like, I was kind of relaxed to talk to them uh -huh. and I don't know. I, <laughs> and then also I, w I was just looking for like internship and so on so i was not natural like i was not nervous at all because if i went to the event to find a job i think i was nervous but it's just i tried to get any internship there so you know that's there was no reason i get nervous yeah that's, uh, that's really nice yeah and then also like you before i'm going to event i talked to some i don't know like people in from Drew, like uh, like you know Jim, right? Yeah. Like Jim Burn, yeah. and then also I knew some people from like Wall Street. So like I can I didn't practice, but I talked to them and then like uh, and then they also like advised me like oh you you should be like a natural and, and then if you're natural like you're gonna be fine and so on, so. Uh -huh. Like they always help me, and it was good. I don't know. Oh, that's so. Like, uh, it was most of the networking like we already had in like place that like helped you like feel more natural and more comfortable. Yeah. So, like you said, like you knew people from Wall Street. Was was that because of the Wall Street semester I drew, or like, uh, how do you like the you you said like you know you knew like Jim Bernays oh, yeah. and, like, and then also like the you know the five minute program. Oh, which, like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The and then I. Family friendship program. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, I met the guy from like you. He 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 living in the Madison at the same time, and he used to work in the Wall Street. And wow, yeah. So you have made like a lot of uh, proper use of connections, networking. Like that's what all the business world is about. So yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that... That that's actually why we really want, you know push you guys to uh, join the family friendship program, right? Because it not only you know uh, gets you into the community, connects you with the community, but also 
it gives you the network or you know at least the, the knowledge of how to network right yeah. because when you're when, when you're eating dinner with uh you know medicine family or you know uh, a medicine in, individual you're networking you're practicing that skill right you're practicing the natural people skill yeah. Uh, and then, you know, Ajia, I, I think you're very natural too, right? And you, you, you know, you're also part of the family friendship program as well, right? Uh, so you, you, you guys are both really, you know, two of our best um, uh, members of that uh, program. Um, so it gives me a, like confidence, like I'm talking to the guy like face to face and having like a lunch or dinner. And then why would I like be so nervous to, you okay. know? Yeah. I feel, I feel the same. Like, also, oh, like, I feel like talking with Mr. Burnett. Like, uh, he has done a lot of lot for like Jewish students. Like, I don't know. I really appreciate him. Like, so I think like, talking with like people makes you more comfortable and more natural. I guess, right? Yeah. The, yeah. More, you, the more you get comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Now, um, I also found something key to uh, Yuki, you, you, your, your experience. Um, but before we uh, dive into that. Uh, talk, since you talked about the family friendship, right, uh, program, uh, can, can you uh, just talk about how you built your resume at Drew and, you know, uh, how did Drew help you um, in a career side? Mm, okay. So basically, uh, at the beginning of sophomore, my resume was like nothing, like, <laughs> you know, so like I start looking for like just small job in on campus and i can make money and at the same time i can put in a resume right but i think at the first job is like a facility i just apply facility in the summer so summer was like there's only few students in the campus right so like most of job is like open and uh so once i get a job in uh, on campus like i was like it just like applying like other job also like and then into desk like uh, the gym and so on i think and then also like uh, like a japanese class and then so on right so, like one of them is like uh, just having the campus job and then also i was close to some professors and the staff like you like they always like uh like gave me a chance to participate in like any pro like a project or program like like a japanese girl from max and then also like other program from like like professors and i just say yes whatever i get offer and even though it's tough you just jump in and do some work and i just wanted to in like my resume and yeah and then I think you know a year later my resume was kind of like looks okay <laughs> yeah like I was, I was literally walking around the campus and I could see you work hard like I, I could see you in the gym then I used to go to Tillman house I would see you <laughs> and I used to go like I don't know I, I would see you like you were really working hard so like yeah <laughs> no yeah I agree I think uh, um the, the presence that a student have uh, in a different type of involvement, uh, campus involvement or engagement uh, mm -hmm. programs or opportunities uh, does, you know, tell sometimes, right, how, mm -hmm. how well they might be able to find jobs because you basically, when you're doing everything, you are practicing a lot of skills, right? Time management because you're doing everything, right? You're saying yes to everybody, right? And then people skill and you gotta you yeah. know, do a lot of interviews if you wanna get a lot of jobs, right? And then uh, you're just talking with a lot of people, right? And then also the uh, professionalism too, right? Like, especially I was in like uh, in two and like from academic English and a pathway, right? So I didn't have a chance to interact with like American student, right? So when I go to like a facility, like they're the all American student, and sometimes I couldn't hear what they think, but I just pretend, okay, like I pretend I knew what <laughs> it. It became like a good practice to talk to them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just connect with them. Like I, you know, I get some friend from them there and it was a good experience. 
Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what, one, one thing also I really remember very clearly about what's really inspiring about uh, Yuki is, you know, the, the, the lightheartedness, you know, and the humor, the natural humor. Right. I remember, um, I, I forgot uh, what scenario that was, but uh, Maz, uh, Ajay, you know Maz, right? So yeah. me and Maz, we were just chit chatting, you know, having fun, uh, walking down the staircase. And then Yuki was sitting at, at the front desk uh -huh. um, at Delman, right? And, and, and then, you know, Maz is very humor, uh, humorous too, right? And so we started talking and then uh, Maz was like, oh, it's like, oh, is you here not doing anything? And then, and then Yuki was like, yeah, well, I see you not doing much either. Uh, so, but, but, but you see how like, uh, and, and, and I actually think it's very impressive for, uh, you know, a Japanese students to have, you know, that, 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 uh, um, a type of quality too is, because, you know, especially because hierarchy is, you know, very valued, right, in J J Japanese culture. Uh, and uh, so, so I think, you know, it's very precious um, that you, you have that asset. And, and I think that probably is why you were very natural, right? Um, because when you're just, when you don't have the intention of, oh, I need to find the Bloomberg job right here, right now, yeah. right, then you, you're just um, pressure free, right? You're just talking casually. Um, also, what I also heard from uh, what you talked about is mentorship. I think you're also really good at mentor, uh, uh, being mentored uh, or finding mentorship because uh, I don't know, um, Ajay or and even Yuki, you, you realized when you said uh, the guy was basically chatting with you and then, you know, setting up meetings, you know, for you with the, you know, uh, uh, sales uh, analytics manager, right? And then giving you hints, tips about, uh, how to behave um, at, at the dinner, right? That's that 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 you you're getting some mentorship from 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 that person. Oh yeah. yeah. Sure, yeah. Um, and then uh, you talked about how you know you were working with uh, Jim Burnett. Uh, mm -hmm. You got mentor lots of mentorship from him uh, through the uh, you know program Tillman programs that you, you you went to. You met with him, right? And then you you you. you uh, you got mentorship from Jeff, right? Uh, the Wall Street person. Uh, uh, you, you, you pair for a family friendship program. Uh, and then, you know, all the professors and staff you talked about, right? So can, 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 can you tell about, can tell us about how, how, how that works? Uh, you know, I, of course, I know it's going to be hard to talk about because it's natural to you, right? But if you think about, you know, how, how you get, uh, how you interact with the mentors, uh, how you get mentorship, if there's any, you know, tips that you can give students who are eager to find mentorships, but they don't know how to you know, interact or are not very natural. Actually, I don't know at the like interview because it was like a few minutes and then like he, he told me everything, like, you know, like advice at the dinner and so on. But like for in, in the school on campus, and uh, for for example, for Jeff Noss, right? It's like I want to, like I always like email him and then like how you doing? And even though I don't have any any question to him, like he just I ask him, like he just say hi, and then also we always plan for lunch and so on. It's like I don't know, it's just. My advice is to get closer with people, like step by step. Okay. And okay. I just need to get like some, I don't know, like trust from them, right? Of course, no one want gonna, no one wanna go to lunch with like stranger, like you know. So mm -hmm. like get some trust from them, and then also for the professors, like I think it's very easy to get close with professor because you have a class and you have a lot of chance to talk to them, right? For example, like, I always speak one, like a professor, each department, like for example, my, like, I'm my, my, my major is business, right? And it's that. So I always speak one professor from that department and then I always get close with them. So like, 
they can give me any what like it, like your internship or whatever project or they get always gave me ad, like advice right so for example like like a business like a cherry like you you remember cherry right so like he, he already gone but like so i always talk to him and we get so close right 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 give me the chance to join like one of the program so but they he didn't he didn't like uh, share with anyone about the project like he told me like he asked me to join so i think the first step is to get to talk with your professor and get close to with them mm -hmm. and yeah just just after the class or whatever using the office time go to their office and talk to them just whatever is fine it doesn't need to be like about your subject or you know like just how i how, how are you doing like you know just ask them anything right 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 so so it almost sounds to me that uh you know the mentorship with professors staff or, or community right uh, people uh it's also, you know, sort of like a, you know, a friendship, right? Uh, uh, you, 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 you're not going to your mentors just for networking, just yeah. for, you know, career stuff. You're not, right? You, you, you are basically uh, cherishing that connection. You're building that connection, uh, almost like you're making friends with your friends. Yeah, I think it's very close to your like friendship. If like I'm open with them, like they're gonna be open too, like you know. Right, 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 right. Yeah, the only difference is, you know, they, they have a lot of experience. And so, you know, you, you, when, when you casually interact with them, you can get those, right? But it's not like the, the only intention, the sole intention. Yeah. Right, right, right. That's, that's really good. We also have Mila uh, uh, joining us. Welcome, Mila. Um, yeah, so, uh, so you talked about your uh, experience going to the job fair. You talked about your experience you know, Drew, that helped you uh, prepare your career, right? Uh, prepare you finding this job. Uh, now you are, you graduated, you're back in Japan uh, and you're having some fun, I hope. Um, I think you are uh, <laughs> uh, in, in the summer. So what are you feeling right now? Um, you're starting your new job position at Bloomberg uh, in September. Ooh. What are you feeling? I'm very excited, and yeah, but at the same time, I'm kind of being nervous because I don't know what kind of people are there, and then I'm sure they're a little smart and they can do job right, and so like I don't know, it just I read in a books and I just study for like Bloomberg a little bit because I don't want to be behind from them. And, and yeah, now it's just, I'm waiting for like join the team and yeah, I just gonna be ready for that time. Cool, 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 cool. Very exciting, very exciting. This is, um, you, know, uh, you know, we're very proud of you. Uh, and uh, we, 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 you know, I, I definitely think you'll do really well uh, at Bloomberg. Um, so, Ajay and Mila, uh, I don't know if you guys have any, any you know, lingering questions for Yuki. I actually do have a question. Like, I, I've been trying to ask questions. Like, I feel like I think, like, where, when people are at some position, it's usually because of their past, like, uh, the things that happen in their past that brings them there. Uh, and I, I want to know, like, what, about your past and the future. Like, were you in, in, interested in, like, how, how did you grow, how did your interest grow in the field, you know? Like, how did you think of, like, getting into this industry of, uh, finances and like what you're planning after you get involved in the Bloomberg for a couple of years what's your plan how you like I okay think, like, uh, how your past was planned and how you are planning your future okay so my plan and I was thinking that also like a few days ago but like so basically Bloomberg has like a office at 70 countries like you know it's like basically everywhere so uh, in five years, I want to go to like other office, like uh, Hong Kong or Singapore. Like, of course, I want to go to New York office, but I don't know, it's, it's a little far. And then 
like or Australia. Okay. So in five years, I want to go to other office to work to like get a new experience, okay. and and then yeah, basically my like now my plan is to work not only Tokyo office but other office too. But like in ten years, I don't know, but. But like for now, you want to remain in the same industry. Like you want to deal with the finances. Yes. Right? Yeah. That's cool. So like how like how did you grow, how did you grow your interest in this field? Like how how did you came up to the conclusion that you want to be in this field for your future or build a, build up a career in this field? How did you came to the conclusion? So basically, like in the Wall Street semester, I went to the Bloomberg office, like in a New York office. Then we walk around and we talk to the guy. Like he also just studied working in Bloomberg mm -hmm. and he explained ex, ex, explain like all the I don't know how they work in Bloomberg like how to use terminal and so on right and when I went to office like I, I can I can see the how global is it mm -hmm. and so like and I think it a lot of like of course in New York office there's like other like like Asian like American and like all the races, right? And then like they interact with each other and then they work very hard. It's like, you know, I just want to go to see how, like I think each each office has different color, like New York, Tokyo, like, oh. like Hong Kong and so on, right? So I just want to see like how like each office is yeah, different and so on, yeah. yeah. So like you also mentioned about like the Bloomberg terminal. So like, uh, did you like, you had used the Bloomberg terminal before. Like I know, like there's a Bloomberg terminal at the basement of DC in the lab. Where oh yeah, yeah. You you were familiar with the terminal. No, but actually I didn't know that like they have the Bloomberg terminal in like a DC. But like uh, literally like there are like thousands of dollars like that was spent and like it was built. I ha even I didn't have any idea. So yeah. So but there's like uh, some program, like mm -hmm. if you pay like a hundred dollar, you can you can run about terminal a little bit. Oh. There's a kind of I don't know offer in like you can you can Google it, and mm -hmm. then also like now they kind of send me like some like uh well lecture it's like I can I, I can watch and then I can run how to use but it's it's so, so I don't know it's not easy at all you just kind of run new language so like right it, well that that's why they're juicing you uh, in the summer. Right, yeah. <laughs> you, you go prepared uh, in September. They're like, no, 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 no. We're not letting him learn when he is actually on the job. We're gonna send him last year before. Uh, but I think it's a good time, right? You, you're having fun and then you're learning, uh, so that's good. Um, now, uh, Ajay was uh, talked as Ajay was talking. Uh, I had another uh, thought um, that is. Um, how did you plan your time uh, when you were in college? Uh, I, I, um, so, for example, like, you know, how much time do you use to social, right? So, like, percent, percentage, right? How much time do you use to, you know, work, right, on campus jobs and stuff? How much time do you, you know, use to study? Of course, they overlap, right? For example, you're working in gym, then you're also uh, studying. Uh, and how much time you're just, you know, having fun. Basically, like, if, if you do a pie chart. So basically, most of the class starts from like a 9 or 10, 25, right? And then finish at like 4, right? Mm -hmm. And then not every day, like, it would be like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or I don't know, Tuesday, Thursday, right? Basically, this two two part time, right? Like uh, three days a week or two days a week, and I try to put all the class like just only ten minutes break each between the class, so just I can finish all the classes in I don't know. The longest is what from ten twenty five to eleven thirty or something. Like, yeah, yeah, and like uh, I try to put everything on a Monday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Friday. So like I have a free time on Tuesday and Thursday most of the time, right? So I put my campus job on that day, 
and then also like for example the gym is open like until 10 or like 11 so like mostly my work at gym is like 7 to 10 7 to 10 or something and then oh, and uh, saturday so i think from monday to thursday it's kind of busy from i have a, sometimes i have a work at into this from 8 and the last my work at finished at 10 at gym mm. kind of whole day was fatigued but i don't know it just only monday to thursday so i could manage it it's right. very tired but like yeah right and then what do you do on uh friday and saturday and sunday sometimes like a friday and saturday just like uh i hang out with my friend but yeah mostly yes and also i i, I was living in the outside right not on campus so sometimes I go to city and when I have a lot of work, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, basically Sunday is like my work day. Right, right, right. Like for like, uh, like a next week. So, so you have two relaxing days. Hang yeah, to Friday night, yeah, Friday night and like a Saturday. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Um, why I'm asking is because you, you, I think that's also something you know, I'm seeing uh, being important uh, for, for, for uh, students finding jobs too, right? Because um, if you're only, fo depending on the jobs that you're looking for, of course, right? Okay. If you're only focusing on, for, for example, business, right? Or like sales analytics, if you're only focusing on, uh, you know, schoolwork, you know, Monday to Sunday, then you're, you're limiting your time to hang out, you're limiting your time to like do the natural uh, networker, natural social person, right? Yeah. And then you are not as natural uh, when you are in a career fair setting. And then also like uh, last two semester, I was taking like only 300 level classes. So it was like kind of tough, right? So I only chose the work I can do kind of my, my stuff during the work. For example, like, like into desk or gym, like unless like you clean up or whatever, watching them, you can do whatever you want. So basically I finish all my like homework and stuff during the work. Like I don't need to stay up like until what, like late night, like two or 3 AM. Yeah. Right, right, right. And then so um, I know we're almost out of, uh, you know, out of time, but uh, so for students who are like, oh, you know, I want to, you know, go in a path that Yuki walked in, um, but I can't find uh, my first on-camp shop. Uh, what do you, do you have any advice for them? And also, you know, Ajay, I guess you, you too, right? Because you, you have tons of uh, experience uh, working on campus too, so. I think AJ has already like a lot of campus job and stuff, right? <laughs> but I think, I don't know, like, I think he's like uh, already step two and stuff. For like the people who try to find a campus job, I think, I mean, they better to get close with staff first. But I think before they open to any other student, of course, they can share with you. Like, for example, into Dex, I was close to the, the one of the staff in into that and then she was she just told me like oh, it's gonna be open like like next week and stuff so like i already told her like, i want to be i want to i really want to work in like into Dex. it's so, like she put me in first like you know try to avoid like competition from other students <laughs> so to avoid a competition like you need to close with staff yeah. and just still information from them <laughs> that's i think my advice <laughs> that's uh that, that, that's a good one that's a good one what, what about you aj any advice from you uh for like getting jobs in campus mm -hmm. i think like uh we are like um like basically like uh there are like job fairs at the at the beginning of all the years so like there are all the jobs provided on campus they had the displays so like I think that's a good spot to like find all the departments and like uh, you just need to apply for jobs. You, you just need to go for it. You're going to be lazy. You're going to just send emails and just wait for the stuff. You have to like go talk to the people 
uh, as as uh, like Yuki said, like you have to be close with the person. Like you know, like people, everybody, like there are like hundreds of people applying for a job. Why should they select you? So like they should see like you're keeping your efforts on the side. You're interested, and that is shown by like actually approaching the person like in person. So I think uh, like the job fair and like reaching out to people. And like there are some people like I saw that like they were like they just sent an email or sent up an application form and they didn't follow up. I'm like you need the job, you need to follow up. Like it's not for the person who's hiring to follow up with you. Like I'm like they they don't have that much obligation as we have. So like I think all these factors matter combined together. Yeah. Right, right, right. No, no, that's very good. Yeah, you gotta be, uh, you gotta be around for people to remember you, right? You gotta be around for people to like think of you. Otherwise, why, 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 why would I have you know? Um, or would I prefer you to, because on campus jobs, there's not really that much resume difference or experience yeah. you no know, requirement, right? So really, who is more relevant, who is more around, who has a closer relationship, you know, definitely always have a better hand. Um, so yes, I totally agree. Well, um, I don't know if you guys have any other questions. If not, then I will just close it up. Uh, and Yuki, any final Final uh, advice for uh, students who still have like a couple more semesters at Drew. Um, oh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a really tough time for like next semester. Or, like I don't know, but like I think this is the chance to like find yourself and to build your skills. You know, like I think most of students are just staying in the house and just doing nothing. But I think it's just really good time to advantage from them right 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 thank you thank you that speaks to me too uh i'm right now just working and then sitting at home and then doing nothing so i better walk out and then i uh, do some stuff but uh well thank you so much this is uh you know a pleasure to have you guys join and and especially yuki thank you so much for you know uh, sharing the experience uh with us and uh we'll post this video um online on our website and then we'll also post your linkedin uh uh, so if you know anybody wants to you know connect with you, they 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 can. Uh, but again, thank you guys, and uh, have a great uh, night or morning or where, wherever you are. So thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Take care and best of luck, Yuki. Best of luck, congrats. Thank you.